First class, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, gents. It is day two, Noah. <laughs> Pretty full on. Pretty full on show. Uh, we've found a bunch of really cool producers that hopefully, maybe, one day, we can bring into Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a master class yesterday, which rocked. That was, was awesome. We did wine for the people live. It was great. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, impromptu, uh, yeah. if you will. And so Noah's got a masterclass today on the Riverland, which I don't know if I'm actually talking about, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure I will. Uh, and what else are we doing today? We're looking for white wine. We're looking for white wine. White Maybe wine and... White wine that sparks joy. Italia. 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 All right, we're going to take scooters. We're going to reapproach our approach to pro wine, literally. Oh instead my of Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe this. <laughs> So we decided, uh, uh, like, epic, epic advice for Pro Line is, is don't worry about Ubers, don't worry about public transport, go get the e-scooters. Yeah, five euro, a lot of fun. All right, we're gonna go see a friend of ours uh, who we know was out last night for quite a fair amount of time. He's actually here, ready to set up and go. Uh, well, I think we just went past her. Oh, we went past her? We're gonna go, yeah. we, we, there, there was, there, she there was no one there? there? All right, yeah, no, nah, she's not here. <laughs> All right, off to Wine Australia for the Wine Australia coffee. Can you show me again? Yes. Is it okay? So you take video? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we have, this is the normal label. Yes. And yeah. then... Wow, that's, oh, that's so wow. cool. How are you feeling, Noah? I've got a coffee in my hand, so I'm feeling okay. <laughs> Constantine Baum doing a, a masterclass on... The, the, the power and science sustainability. Yeah, yeah, like all, yeah, their approach to climate change and sort of what are they doing and, and whatnot. Yeah, might have really a, excited. Catch up with a few other friends while we're here, but I'm looking forward to it. I can see some have names along. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's move on to the second new varieties. And um, a few years ago, I was from Paris on. So this is what happens when you come by and see Constantine Baum. He um, he's giving away free California food truck pro wine vouchers. Constantine Baum, more than just a, a, a wine educator, he's also a feeder of, of other influences. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So we just came from having a great time with Constantine Baum, the best, the best, the the, the OG, the man. Now we're trying. To <laughs> it's like it's like this is the most classic thing. So the Italian section, there's so many. There's like three massive halls dedicated to Italy, as, uh, as there should be. Like amazing wine, wine region, great, like, yeah. great isolation of varieties, and, you know, different amazing regions. But the organization. <laughs> What organization? <laughs> there is none. There is no organization. There is. It's not even organized. Hey, beyond yeah. that. Yeah. There's like this. There's, there's Piemonte producers spread yeah. across all three halls in like complete random fashions, like trying to find Pelavetica is proverbially the needle in the haystack. Um, although we did find some really interesting companion producers. We're in Sicily now. Yeah. Um, you know, some really really cool stuff here. So yeah, we're gonna knuckle down to an hour of power or two hours of power at one stage. You can see if we can't. Yeah. Find something interesting. Let's see what we can find. So to my hi. This is Ali, by the way. This is also Owl. We just <laughs> we have a con naming convention when it comes to our friends, so all the Owls, Alleys out there. Yeah. Owl, Alley, yeah. Alex. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, that's all we care about. So the award for the best looking just stand in general uh, goes to a brook. So there's just, there's, it's just so much fun. But God damn, do they brand the shape? Oh man, that's, if the Unico Celador looks something like that, I'll be stoked. Kudos to, to all of this stuff. It's just so much fun. Yeah, and fun. it's gaudy as all heck. It's great. Yeah, it's so talented. It's so talented. It's so talented. 
end of day two, hectic as all heck day. You know you Better know day. It's so funny where I, I, I didn't actually just pull business cards out of my pocket and I was just like, oh yeah, we tasted Tabadella today. Yeah, <laughs> that happened. Yeah, we did that. That actually happened. It is pretty dreary and cold outside, but we're going to, what, what did you just call it? The flight of the Valkyries. <laughs> Play out there. Dun, 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 yeah, right dun. <laughs> I'm gonna go e-scooter our way. Hopefully there's some scooters waiting for us. Oh dude, this is gonna be painful. Brakes. <laughs> no, worrying. no, accelerator. Oh yeah, no, I think you're on my one. My one this morning was a little bit um, slow. A little bit slow. How you doing there, Al? Good, man. Dun, 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 dun. This is easily the best way to get around for Provine. Like, total hot tip. Yeah. Just bring gloves or a way to, yeah, yeah, way to yeah. blow out your hands. Just going to add a rider. Let's see how far we get. Four kilometers. Let's see how far we get, bro. It's the last day for a wine. It is the last day it's, for a wine. Yeah, we're, we're, we're ready. We're ready. Yeah. We, are, we are on board. Let's bring it home. Once more with feeling. Oh, once, once more, more with feeling. Deep, into the breach of your friends once more. Oh, oh. Do you know what I'm looking forward to? We're looking forward to, Brendan. Egg rolls. 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 Getting us through the rough mornings. Love these. So this morning's near death experience, Noah. We had it out of 10. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say six out of ten. Six out of ten, eh? Yeah, we had, you know, a bit of a, a lovely, uh, motorist decided to drive down the sidewalk. Uh, oh, you can, needed it. It's funny enough, which you can park on. <laughs> but there was definitely someone going, like, pretty yeah. quick. I nearly took Noah out. That was, yeah. uh, that was pretty fun. I can't feel my hands, so it's, yeah. Yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the German sleet. Yeah, man, really. I'm like, I'm wet. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just soaked. But once again, we made it to... Pro we are here. Right. We are at the Messe. Final day. Make it a good one. Oh. <sighs> the sustainable wine round table. So we're up by the north entrance where like we're going through the south entrance, which is immensely more quiet. Like <laughs> Oh, yeah, Dozens time. of people coming in at a time. Not, not this. This is just. It's like just a sea. It's almost like you're at Central Station. Yeah, no. This, uh, yeah, this is like a, like Liverpool Station. Yeah, it's just a like. Check this out here. It's just a stream of people, an absolute stream of people. Whoop! And here we are. An hour and a. This is one of fourteen. One of seventeen halls. One of seventeen halls. Yeah. Here. It's that's like, actually one of the most aromatically pleasing. It's like peach zappo. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Silver Heights. Uh, peach zappo. What do you get? I want tannin in between my teeth. Yeah. This is helping. Strawberry, red cherry notes here. This is about the same colour as some of those Rollos as well. <laughs> and we feel it's much rainbow capsule no, no. It's all a pleasure. It's always a pleasure yeah. to drink crew, like, like a lot of Really crew. good crew. Yeah. 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 Were there crews that you had for the first time just then? I haven't had. I don't think I've ever had Kruberon. Surely secondary. we've had Kanubi before. Never, I've never had Kanubi before. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my and goodness. Yeah, you've been holding out on me. Yeah. We, we, we just well had Kanubi. It was pretty good. Yeah. It was really good. How about oh, the city? Hey, going on? <laughs> we were just uh, remarking about how amazing Kruberon was. If you feel like yeah. tickling yeah. sensation. If you've ever got a chance to, to, to well. suck on a piece of chalk. The apple is high. Uh, it's like that. That's why that. It's very tannic. Very tannic. Yeah. Delicious. We've, we've yeah. been tasting our way through the North Cell. Mm. Oh, oh, no. One second. 
Hello. Hi, <laughs> all for you. you? Oh, hi, everybody. This is Agnes from No Sediment. And today, let's taste Australian wines beyond Shiraz, Chardonnay, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes. There's so much more to it, though. Yeah. So much more to it. We're a big country. We've got, you know, 25 million people, but there's a lot more land like that is uninhabited. I cannot. Just to... like, like, I'm so excited now to go home and taste those wines. <laughs> yeah, they're really, really the good. The biggest fair, like wine fair in the world, probably. Yeah. Well, we can't wait for you to try them, to be honest. We're, we're really excited. It's day three, it's like two or three o'clock, and everyone is basically pregnant. Everyone, everyone's done. The last couple of tastings we've gone to, people just kind of don't know up from down, left from right. It's just a bit of bedlam. But this is probably one of the coolest things. Uh, I reckon Spain, Portugal did this last year, and Spain did this as well with Rioja, and they've expanded out entirely. Um, but it's basically a taste your own, go through at your own pace, scan a QR code for more information. But they've separated up, it's like all the wines from like Garden, uh, from Aragon. Garnacha, uh, as well as like Rioja. Let's drink some freaking Garnacha. <laughs> Sorry, Garnacha. Garnacha. <laughs> For the man who has everything, or woman who has everything, in their lives, there is the decantore. Can you tell a bottle? One and a half litres? Three litres to 18 litres. For all the times that you need assistance in decanting. Yeah. Every time you, you want to open your uh, Methuselah, you need it so to just make sure you don't throw out your back. Exactly right. It's really important to, to practice safe lifting practices uh, when it comes to pouring out uh, very Egr light. egregious bottles egregious. of whole Roger. <laughs> that is wild. Also for the person who has everything in their lives, there is the uh, free-flowing champagne bar. How do you spell danger? <laughs> self champagne. <-champ. laughs> that's, it's, it's, that's incredible. That's, I just hang out here all day. I think that's what they're banking on, really. Why would you go anywhere else? That's genuine. <laughs> all right, we'll come back. Done. Yes. Done. Yes. yes. How do you feel? Exhausted. <laughs> I feel exhausted. Absolutely spent. I, I, I don't think I can look at much wine seriously for a while. Twenty-four hours later. Well, I've capped it off wonderfully with some English sparkling. That was actually really, mm. very, very, very delicious. Uh, was it the Langham? Okay. Yeah. Langham? Yeah, yeah. Like That's they, a very British thing. Yeah. Like um, yeah, Dorset. And they're all like kind of grower champagne stuff. It's very delicious. So after that, oh, I'm, I, now I just want barley champagne. Barley champagne. Yeah. 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 Sugar cane champagne. Uh, yeah, a bit far away from that. <laughs> your first probe on my second. Mm -hmm. How did it meet your expectations? Uh, I was expecting something similar, but I wasn't expect. I, I thought it was going to be big, but I didn't realize it was going to be that. I am prone to exaggeration, so I've been telling yes. you how big yes. this is going to be. And also, I've learned over the last six and a bit years to, like, if it's exaggeration, maybe take away about 30 to 40%. Mm. Uh, maybe I should have actually listened to your original summation. For once! <laughs> for once, I actually exaggerated, exaggerated properly. The key points, takeaways for people that are looking to come themselves. Uh, if you're coming themselves, like, you will learn uh, everything about... Well, not everything, but you will learn as, like, the basis of the world of wine in the space of three days. So if you plan out and taste all the producers, you can kind of get an idea of every, like, good solid wine region around the world. Planning's key here. I Planning really is key. Think, like, Planning is key. Even I was ignorant enough to think on my second go-around that was heavily planned. We've been planning this trip for... A few months. Yeah, and it's been really intense. I, I, sh I should share and upload my, my spreadsheet. It's uh, chaos. It's, 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 it's organized chaos. And I was ignorant enough to think that we could get through everything, taste through everything, and really kind of yeah. like, yeah, we did pro wine. And we are leaving still having massive gaps that we didn't touch. Yeah, the we, world like, we left a lot of France out there. I think we did France for like how long? Like an hour, not even. Yeah, about 45 just, minutes. And we, like, to be honest, we're, like, you know, we're looking for producers that uh, don't have representation in Australia from regions that are kind of underrepresented in Australia. And, you know, when we walked through, we're like, oh, well, there's a lot of Champagne, there's a lot of Burgundy, there's a lot of Loire. I was like, well, that's got a good representation. We wanted to do the longer and we weren't 
particularly excited by any of the brands. Mm. I feel there'd be great wines, but the branding wasn't kind of what we're looking for. I've been spending time with Constantine Baum was really cool. That Obviously, you know, yeah, we're big fans of everything that he does. I told him about Agnese from No Sediment today and just got to know building a bit of a community around sort of the other sort of new media, wine YouTubers. Oh, dude, masterclasses. Masterclasses were fun. We did they were for, awesome. We did wine for the people alive. We did a Chardonnay masterclass from the Adelaide Hills and we, we, we needed Henry Doyle for the Chardonnay masterclass. We definitely needed Paris. Henry Doyle. That would have been it was very, well very, very good fun. In fact, the amount of people... Henry Doyle has actually built a whole profile in the international wine community, it seems. Just yeah. Crazy. Where's the third guy? <laughs> Where's the third guy? Where's Henry at? Yeah. It kind of made me feel a little bit bad he wasn't here, uh, to be honest. But, uh, he's, uh, he's too busy performing at the French. Tips and tricks. Planning. Comfortable shoes. Very comfortable shoes. Um, don't just dress up. The dress for comfortability. But don't organise Uber or cabs. Get the e-scooter. That is the 100%. That is the way to get from the centre of Dusseldorf to the event, 100%. And fun. Fun. Funner than an Uber. Carry a water bottle. Yes. Carry a water bottle. Yeah. I haven't done that, and I wish I did. Again, it's like plan, 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 including planning where you're going to be eating, plan where you're going to be drinking. Because oh, yeah. Yeah, look at Al just be wait, waiting patiently the, uh, in the, U- so, U- the UK uh, wine for the people correspondent <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, alright so plans from now we're finished yeah we're going to be slaying deleting control alt deleting some beers with Al and then we're going to go catch up with the German correspondent for wine for the people yes <laughs> Ali uh, who has a whole bunch of wines for us to, to taste and try yeah. from her friends the in, wine doesn't uh, stop in the false the wine doesn't stop yeah, the wine doesn't stop judge Al uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for whatever oh, I want I want to no. three, three of these bits. no this is the bit that I don't like <laughs> no you're not going anywhere Even we're going to pack you up and bring you back to Australia <laughs> please yeah come yeah. cool yeah Wait, hey. Yeah. Drugs. The Riesling drugs. <laughs> so we've got Pinko Grigio. We have the Riesling Lunch Neck Kalk. This is what we encountered, and we're like, this definitely is sketch. Boo doo, boo, boo doo, boo. Boo. Bum 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 What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> Are we allowed to touch the things here? We're allowed to touch, we're allowed to play with it, we're even allowed to be inspired and make our own. What? He's, yeah. He was like, if you want to throw a party, go for your life. This looks like one of those weird after parties <laughs> from like uh, celebrities where they all just do coke all night off each other's buttholes. <laughs> this is in the OnlyFans cut of the Wine for the People channel. <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. I don't want to. No, no, this is my least favorite bit. <laughs> It'll be Sejuna. Sejuna. See you see you next. Oh. Right, if, I, if I actually make it. Oh. <laughs> Most challenging wine that I've ever seen. <laughs> and just like that, the intrepid traveler is on his merry way off to, oh man, Noah's got a crazy run. Honestly, he's going off to America, then off to Canada, to a place, uh, a little town in Australia called St. Juna, because we're doing some some work with an indigenous mob uh, up there that we've got a really good friendship with. Of all the great fun things about pro wine uh, and working in the wine industry, this is the bit that I hate the most, which is of course saying goodbye uh, to everyone. All right, so we're all done and dusted. About to start the journey back to Adelaide. It's really sad saying goodbye to friends or see you later. Also, I miss my son and I miss my wife and it is in the middle of vintage. So it's time to get going. Got a bit of a cheeky upgrade sitting at the pointy end again. 
one of the things I find so frustrating about these airport hubs, the confluence of different cultures, like drive on different sides of the road. Everyone, no one knows to pass someone on the left or the right. So it's just this manic and bed look and everyone just goes their own direction. Step one of the 10 step plan to get back to Australia is largely done. That's one of the hardest things, especially trying to explain this to international audiences that living in Australia is great, except for when you want to travel anywhere and then it becomes 12 to a 20 hour flight. Definitely missing Noah right now. It was a lot more fun when he was around. The pilots are back this way. And the plane is going to travel in this direction. And I'm sitting facing that direction. I've never flown backwards on a plane before. I personally think that's really jarring. Good to see how it goes. I think I racked up um, uh, 29 hours of travel time uh, from Dusseldorf to Adelaide. So now I'm gonna have to try to balance out with a little bit of coffee because I don't think I'm actually gonna be able to go home and sleep. I reckon I'm in for a full day of work, so wish me luck. Hey Shelby, you on this? The bag. Whoa! Oh, I got your coffee. Thank you. It was good. Hey, Shelby. Do you want some fried rice, Shelby? Uh, want some fried rice? Uh, rice. You want fried rice? No. No. Rice. You want me to have some fried rice? <laughs>